Hey, it's your boy Pete coming at you again with another episode of North Florida Smoke. Uh, Happy New Year. Today is New Year's Day. I got a new toy for Christmas. We're going to go ahead and break it out and uh, and show you what we got going on. So today um, I've got the big Kamado Joe over my shoulder here and uh, our new toy is a Joe Tisserie. So this is a rotisserie setup uh, for the Kamado style grill. So I'm going to give you a little look-see here uh, at exactly what that entails. We'll do a little kind of unboxing if you will even though I already put it together and then uh, we're going to go ahead and throw a chicken on this thing and see how it does. So I'm excited to get going. Uh, appreciate everybody checking us out. Please make sure to like and subscribe uh, so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Uh, we're back on the horse for 2021, so expect a lot of content from us going forward. Uh, we got all sorts of fun toys to play with out here on the patio. So uh, appreciate you coming by, and uh, let's go ahead and hop into this Joe Tisserie. All right, y'all, so here we have the uh, Joe Tisserie. So this is a ring. Uh, this is kind of what it comes with. It's a large ring that sits uh, pretty flush right down inside the Kamado Big Joe. And then there's a motor here uh, that's mounted on the left-hand side. It just pulls off and on real easy. And the spit goes right there in the center. Uh, so this thing slides on here. And then you're gonna take the spit rod uh, when you've got whatever you want on and it's up to temperature. Uh, slide this thing across as soon as you hit the button it's going to really slowly start turning so what i did here is i'm kind of setting up for an offset uh, i don't want all the chicken stuff to be you know kind of dripping down into the bottom here and making a mess so i did put a foil pan down in there and all i'm going to do is light either side of the charcoal here you can see when this thing closes down um, it's pretty flush in there you've got to take down the uh the side um, shelf here before you can install that oh, jotisserie just because it does get in the way uh, so if you're going to install this thing in an outdoor kitchen and you want to have this as an accessory just make sure that you're allowing some space for it because as you can see it comes down into the bottom of the grill a little bit so if you were to take your counter flush up to here you're going to have a problem getting this mounted in and you're probably either going to have to raise your jotisserie uh, or lower the countertop so uh, just keep this in mind if you're going to go ahead and this is just some kind of thoughts i had initially uh, because eventually i do want this thing all built into an outdoor kitchen so uh, this was a present for my wife i'm very excited to get it up and running and uh, now let's go inside and get this chicken prepped up all right guys we are inside in the kitchen i got my buddy jacks hanging out playing on the ipad and i'm getting this thing patted down we're going to dry it off a bit and then uh, we're also going to take our knife here and this kind of flap that's just chilling out the back, we're gonna take that off because we don't really need it, right? If there's no meat in there, it's just all fat. So we'll cut this off. And then what we're gonna do, so we'll get this baby kind of all dried off. I'm gonna truss it up and I'm gonna tie it with some butcher string. Once I do that, I'm gonna have it kind of all together. I'm gonna take some of that uh, Creole butter I'm going to get this thing injected and then I'm going to put uh, some of this Suckle Busters um, clucker dust on the outside and that's just going to uh, be a little rub on the outside, kind of get some of that nice crispy skin and I'm going to put a little olive oil on the outside as well to help that rub it here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this baby tied up. Now what we're going to do is take a good length of butcher string and I'm going to start uh, just because I find it easier to make a loop on one end. Now I can take that loop and what I'm gonna do next is go around one of the legs. So I'm gonna take one of the legs and I'm gonna put that loop through and I'm gonna pull it all the way, all the way through so it'll just cinch down on itself. And then once it's done that, I'm gonna tie it to the other one. So I'm gonna close these up and I'm gonna just kind of start going around here. Uh, and loop it around a few times. I don't really need to tie it. So as long as they're pretty tight together, um, I don't really need a knot here. So I just kind of want them held on to itself. And then what I'm gonna do is flip my chicken over and I'm gonna come up the back here and I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna go right down the breastbone and I'm gonna take the other end here and I'm gonna actually go through where I tied it for the legs. So this is just giving me another kind of anchor point. Try not to rip everything over. So now it's kind of like pulling up, you can see. So as this is pulling up, right, the next thing I really wanna do is just hold the rest of the bird together as we're going. So I'm gonna just find a point here and I'll kind of cross over. I think I got my string a little long here, but you'll get the idea. And then I'm gonna kind of come down 
from that point and I'll just kind of get the top of the leg here and I'll go around the back and I'm just gonna kind of start wrapping this thing up and then I'm gonna hold the wings to the bird as I'm going around and I'm gonna try to take kind of two turns over the wings. So we'll wrap it here and then we'll go around one more time. So now I've basically got two access points on the wings and this thing should hold together for me pretty well now. So you can see the wings are tucked in. I'll even kind of move this up a bit and then kind of center this down by the leg. But you know, I'm pretty happy with how that's trussed up. Now, what I'm gonna do so the presentation stays nice is I'll tie it in the back. So I'm gonna cut off a good length of this just cause I kind of went a little long. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna find where this goes through and I'm gonna just kind of create another point there and then I'm gonna tie it and knot it to itself. So now this is tight. I wanna kind of keep it pretty tight and make sure that I've got that all secured there. And then I'm just gonna cut off this excess. Now we'll go ahead and turn our bird over and we've got everything pretty much held together here. All right, now we're gonna inject it. So what, what I've got here is our Creole butter. And this is just store-bought. It actually comes with the syringe. So if you need a syringe for something and you don't wanna go pay 15, 20 bucks for it, just go buy one of these for like 5.99. So I'm gonna go in the thickest part of the breast and I'm gonna squeeze a little bit in there till I start to see it puff up. And I'm gonna do that in kind of two to three spots down the breast. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And the reason I'm injecting is because a lot of times on a rotisserie, the seasoning kind of gets either burned off or, or just kind of doesn't adhere to the outside. So I want this thing to stay nice and juicy here. So now I'm gonna do the same thing in the legs, right? I'm gonna come into the outside of the leg and put a little bit in there and the same thing in the thigh. Come into the leg and then take a little more and get into the thigh. All right, so I'm just gonna drizzle a little olive oil on top here and then I'm gonna use my hand to distribute that around. Now we'll go ahead, we've got it injected and a little oil on there. We're gonna start using our clucker dust and we're just gonna kind of get a good amount of coverage over here. Turn it over and then we'll do the top side. All right, so this stuff is pretty well seasoned. Uh, there's a couple little spots here and there that I could probably do a better job with. And we'll try to hit those as we can here, but I'm not gonna be too crazy about it. It'll be good for now. So what I'm gonna do is move this cookie sheet out into the fridge, and that's just gonna sit uh, and allow all the spices to adhere and uh, to that marry into the meat a little bit uh, before we get the jotisserie up and running and get this baby cooking. All right, it's time to get this baby fired up. So uh, we're gonna take the easy route today. And we're gonna use our clamp drawer. got this thing coming up to temp here sitting at about uh, 310 degrees I've got my barbecue guru in there that's helping regulate the temp and then as you can see down in there I've got uh, kind of two hot spots started on either side here and uh, and we're gonna allow this thing to go right in the middle so uh, this is getting pretty hot it will allow this to come up to temp and then uh, we'll go ahead and get this bird on all right guys time to get our chicken loaded up here onto our spit and then uh, we're gonna get it onto the Kamado, which is out there heating up. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take our spit here and I'm gonna just put this right from the head of the bird and I'm gonna kind of just hold the legs up while I do it. And the, the hole that's already there, we're just gonna kind of go right down through here. And then I wanna go, there we go. So I get right into the cavity there. And then I wanna come out the other side here. I'm gonna push this thing all the way down so we're jabbed right in there. And then I'm gonna take the other side here, which we've already opened up, and I'm gonna push that down in, and I'm gonna use that to secure the other side of the bird. So we'll come down here, and we'll just kind of shove it in there. And if it's kind of on it or uh, inside it, that's okay, as long as it's holding on there. So I'm gonna kind of tighten that down. And this thing is now on our spit. So it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna use the spit to kind of get the rest of it all seasoned up and uh, we should be ready to get this baby on. All right, got this baby loaded on the jotisserie and it is rolling. Let's take a nice look at this bird. Got this all trussed up, set up here. We got the motor running and we got a pan set up to, uh, to catch the drippings here. And this baby's just gonna keep rolling along until we get to about 180 in the thigh and about 160. Uh, ish in the uh, the breast is what we're going for so can't wait to see the results on this one we'll check in in a little bit Tisserie and this baby's rolling along. Give you a little look see here. It's looking pretty good. Maybe that sizzle sizzle. This thing's tracking about 140, 145 degrees, so we're kind of getting close here. Yeah, we're sitting at about 144, 145. So we're gonna let it keep going, probably about another 20, 30 minutes or so, and we should be good. Got a nice chunk of hickory there over here, producing some nice smoke for us. And uh, this thing's almost done, so it's looking great. All right, y'all, we're out here on the patio. And this baby's just about done. We'll give you a little look-see. It's looking pretty damn good here. And uh, this thing's pretty much right up to temp. And this thing is looking beautiful. So we're gonna get this off, let it rest, and then we'll cut it up. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Here is our chicken. It's been on the rotisserie for about a little under two hours, and uh, this thing is looking absolutely delicious. So we're gonna let this rest here for probably about 10 or 15 minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut into it and uh, see how we did. All right, got this baby sliced up. Nice, tender, juicy chicken on that jotisserie. Everything's looking good. Nice crispy skin on the outside. Time to dig in. Mm -hmm. 